Katie Jenkins. I am a director at pharmacy and I'm getting ready to show you this brand new vegan non-transfer self tanner. I'm so excited to try it out. I do have a really nice tan right now because I've been like living at the beach. Um, but I've got some, you know, some lines from my bathing suit that I'd like to even out and I'm still just going to put it everywhere because like the, this part of my arm, it doesn't even match the rest of my body. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, for the heck of it, try to, you know, match that up really nicely and I'm going to walk you through the process. So I changed into a really old tank top. Um, this is so old. Do you guys remember Aeropostale? <laughs> yeah, does Aeropostale, is Aeropostale even open anymore? I don't know. But well, that's how long I've had this old tank top. It has stains on it. It has lived through pregnancies, births, nursing. <laughs> she has hung in there. But um, you can see my tan lines. I'm going to try to cover those up. You can see this part of my arms are a lot lighter than the others. This is the new self-tanning mousse. It's called a Golden Glow from Pharmacy. This is a vegan formula. There are, oh my gosh, it's so clean for your skin because it does follow very strict European standards. I encourage you to read the ingredients in your self tanner. This is literally all that we have in this, just this little strip right here. Okay. It's interesting. I've been reading up on other brands, other companies, self tanning ingredients. Um, it has DHA in it, which is going to give you just a more natural tan. It's going to help your natural tanning ability just kind of enhance um, it says it is a natural tan to your skin thanks to its easy to apply and fast absorbing light mousse. It's 100% natural and vegan friendly active ingredients which helps your skin tan without the sun. So you're going to moisturize dry areas of your skin before you use it. For best results it says apply by massaging with your with gloves. Um, use with caution around elbows, knees, and ankles. That's per any self tanner even if you go get sprayed, okay? Um, we've all done that. <laughs> And then you're going to leave it on your skin for up to 48 out four to eight hours before showering. And I've heard a lot. I've been reading a lot of testimonials from other influencers who got theirs first. And some of them are saying at their four to eight hour mark, they were just simply rinsing off in the shower. And some were saying they full on wash their body and both, both parties love their results. So this is it, you guys. And I'm going to show you it's, um, I'm going to show you the solution if I can, it's a very, it's a clear solution. So if you've ever had one of these before, I know the last um, tanning mousse that I used was brown. It went on brown. This is just very clear. And I know it does say best applied with gloves. Um, can't even take my ring off right now. So gosh, no, I know how to, this is not foreign language to me. I know how to, how to clean it all up. So what I'm going to do first is two pumps. Okay. We're going to see, this is my first, Oh, it's super, super soft. Holy, that was a lot. Um, it's super soft. I will say that I was kind of nervous and I'm only using my hand because I know a lot of us don't just have, um, a tanning mitt laying around the house, right? Not, not all of us have that. I do have an extra, I have Kabuki brushes. Kabuki brushes are amazing, especially, you know, for doing, um, your, like your wrists and your fingers and all of that. I'm just gonna rub really, really well to get in here. I'm just gonna be really, I'm anxious to see how this is gonna look around my wrist, my elbows, but as you can see, I am rubbing very, very thorough, thoroughly just to see what it's gonna be like. This is not an instant tanner. This is a gradual, you know, acceler tanning accelerator. So it, that's why it says to leave it on for four to eight hours. Um, just because I did two pumps on that side, we're gonna do the exact same thing here. <laughs> And the smell, you guys, it smells really, really good. Um, there is a very light coconut scent. But other than that, a little bit of a tanning scent. But what I had been reading from other influencers who have been using this is that while it's drying, drying on your skin, you are able to um, smell like a slight scent of a tanning. Um, a tanning accelerator, but then once it's dried, you can't smell it. So I'll give you that review as well. I'm going to stay on here with you. Well, you know, come back and forth <laughs> until I have my final results. I'm just trying to get my hands really good. This is a, this, you know, a Kabuki brush is amazing for your hands. It's so good because you're able to like really work in those areas and kind of like buff all of that um, tanning-ness out. <laughs> So I'm hoping that I rub that. It rubs obviously really easy, just like a lotion. Okay, so for my chest, I'm just gonna do one pump and 
yeah, this is so, 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 so soft. But I wanted to, you know, kind of give you guys a full experience of what this is like with your hand. I already know what it's like to apply a tanning mousse um, with a mitt, with a mitt and, um, oh, whatchamacallit, a kabuki brush. But I just want to see what it's like without that. Whatever's left over on my hands is going on my face now. go right over my ears and I'm rubbing the back of my neck as well this will help um, this area as well because my neck is always like wider than the rest of my chest and um, face so I've got that um, I'm gonna get off here I'm going to do my legs and I took before pictures of everything, so you'll, I'll be able to compare them with you. So stay tuned. So while I'm letting this soak into my skin, um, I can tell that I do have a tanner on. So I'm keeping track of that right now. It's 325. I want to be able to keep track of it and let you know how long, before, how long before it doesn't feel like I have a tanner on. You know, like it's still drying. Um, so far, incredibly lightweight. It rubbed in incredibly easy, just like a body lotion, as you could tell. This is non-transferable, so once it's on your skin and set in, it's not gonna transfer to your sheets or your clothing. Um, so the biggest question is how long does it last? So I used to, um, the company that I used to be with, we actually had a tanning lotion, and that was exactly how it sounds, a tanning lotion. You put it on, go to your event, go, to, go about your business during the day, come home, take a shower, and you are washing the lotion off. It was not water resistant or anything like that. This is going to depend on how well you care for your skin. It is a self tanner. So how well are you staying hydrated? How well are you moisturizing your skin? Did you exfoliate before you applied this? You know, there's those are key factors that kind of hone in on how long something is going to last for you moisturizing your skin is a huge 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 like perk to keeping your stuff on longer um and that's all i've got for you so far so i'm gonna keep you posted like i said 325 now and i'm going to go ahead and watch the time to see when i don't feel this like um as it's drying it's like almost that sticky feeling exactly how i've ever felt using a tanning mousse or using going to get spray tanned by somebody or in a booth um, it's exactly how you feel when you're done so anxious to okay see. just an update it is three i think it was like 3 45 when i just looked at the time um i'm getting ready to hop on a live to do my makeup and i do not feel sticky i do not feel like i have a tanner the only two parts left on my body that are kind of like i can tell something's there are right here that's it on both elbows not even on the back of my legs like those feel super soft and smooth nothing feels okay, sticky it has been 17 hours now um and i wanted to give you an update i kept this white tank top on and there's still no transfer on it and even yesterday when i went to put on my makeup um i had on a white bralette which typically i wouldn't wear anything white right after you know tanning and it has no tanning mousse on it. There's no accelerator on it. Um, I have before and after pictures that I'll show you that are better. I still haven't rinsed off. Um, I feel like my tan lines are less this morning. I could probably use a second coat, honestly, just because I've been really dark from being outside so much lately, but it doesn't smell like a tanner even after I still haven't rinsed off. So I haven't rinsed, haven't washed. This is just how it is. And I check my sheets and there's no transfer and I naturally just get a little hot at night um, so I was a little nervous about that and there's nothing there so I'm pretty stinking excited about this new tanning mousse so this is the package that it comes in thousand percent worth it you've got to try it